Hi friends! In today's tutorial, I'm going to be walking you through how to draw St. Teresa of Calcutta. We celebrate her feast day on September 5th, and I'm going to show you how to draw her using simple lines and simple shapes. For this project, you need a piece of paper, a pencil, and something to color with. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to be drawing her head. So we're going to be putting in an oval at the top of our paper. You can do any size or shape head that you wish. So once you get her head sketched out, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to be putting in her neck. So we're going to do a shape that's kind of like the letter U. So you're going to draw a U shape underneath her head like this, and that is going to create her neck and the collar of her robe. We're going to be putting in her shoulders. So we're going to be putting in one line over here on the left side that's slightly angled down. And we're going to do another line here over on the right side that is angled downwards in the opposite direction. So directly underneath the oval shape by the neck, you're going to draw a line that comes down kind of like this. And we are going to be putting in two little raindrop shapes for the hands. So her hands are closed in prayer. So over here on this left side, I'm going to leave a little bit of space between the bottom of the neck and where I want the top of the fingers to go. And I'm going to have it be more narrow up at the top and a little bit wider and round for where I want the bottom of her hand to be. So kind of like a raindrop. And I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side. So I want the top fingers to be in the same spot and I'm going to have it come at an angle and around. So it's like two raindrops touching each other or an upside down heart when it's all put together. Next, we're going to be putting in these um, sides of her arms here. So we're going to be putting in two diagonal lines. We're going to put one that comes down off towards the left, a little bit past where the hands are going to be. And we're going to put another line over here on the right side, also at a slight angle, and it goes past where the bottom of the hands are. Where I end my line, that's going to be where her elbows are. And I want to put in another slightly diagonal line for these bottoms of the sleeve. It's not quite a straight across diagonal line. It has a slight curve to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a slightly curved diagonal line that comes down and ends right about where her, the bottom of the hands are. And I'm going to do the same thing on this opposite side. I'm going to do a slightly curved line and I'm going to end it close to where the bottoms of my hands are. I'm going to draw a line that comes up and connects to where the hands are on this left side. And I'm going to do the same thing on this right side. And that's going to be creating the opening of her sleeves. Next, I'm going to be putting in these two lines here for the top parts of her sleeves. So kind of close to um, the bottom of the hand, you're going to put one line that comes off towards the left, but you want to stop it so you have a little bit of space in between the side of the arm and kind of where that elbow bend is. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to do a slightly angled line that leaves a little bit of space before it reaches that arm. To finish off the sleeves, we're going to be putting in this little opening here. So kind of where the top side of the hand is, I want you to draw one more line that comes down towards the bottom of the sleeve. And that creates this little V shape, which is the opening for that sleeve. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to start kind of close to the bottom side of the hand draw a diagonal line that comes down towards the bottom of the sleeve, and that creates this V opening for that sleeve. Kind of close to where this bend of the elbow is, but on the underside of the arm, we're going to draw a straight line that comes down at a slight angle. So right about here, I'm going to draw a line that comes down on my paper, angled slightly towards the right, like this. 
and I'm gonna stop it wherever I want the bottom to end kind of like this. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna be working on this left side and it's slightly different. It has a little bit of a um, bend over on this left side before it comes in straight kind of like this side here. So kind of near the elbow on this left side, you're gonna start off with a little line that comes down and towards the left, a little kind of like this. And then we're going to draw that straight down line over here, kind of matching this line that we had drawn on the right. So those lines are kind of parallel to each other. So I'm doing a line that comes down, going the same direction as this one over here on the right, but I'm gonna make it slightly longer, just a little bit, kind of like this. So I'm stopping this line wherever I want the bottom of her robes to be. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect this mark right here to this side over here to create this bottom piece of fabric for her clothing. So I'm gonna do pretty much a straight across line like this and that connects those two sides together. So it kind of looks like a rectangle shape. It's just slightly bent over here on that left edge. To finish off that little robe, we're gonna put in this line right here. So we wanna leave a little bit of space between this bottom corner and where we're going to put the bottom part of this robe. Um, so I'm going to draw one little line that comes down and it's angled slightly in, and it's gonna be about the same length as this corner over here. I'm gonna connect this corner to this line using a curved line, kind of like a smile. And we'll go ahead and we will finish off her clothing. So we're gonna to start to add in some of these folds in her fabric. So she has this piece of cloth um, that is kind of coming up and behind where her folded arms are. So we're gonna start over here with this little U-shaped line. So here in the corner, I'm going to add a curve, kind of like a candy cane that comes up like this. So this line kind of reminds me of the shape of a candy cane or a letter J and it creates this overall kind of like U curve here. And what I wanna do is I want to continue this line on the opposite side of her arm. So if I were to imagine that this line continued, I might have a little bit of space here by this hand that I would see that little bit of fabric peeking out. And I wanna continue that line kind of up towards this shoulder right here. I'm gonna add one more line here, um, kind of where the elbow is bent in the top of her shoulder. And that is finishing up this area right here. I put in some lines here to create the folds of her fabric to make that look more cloth-like. So if you want to, you can add some diagonal lines kind of matching the angle of um, how this fabric is up by her shoulder. And you can just put in some diagonal lines, curved lines to kind of create like this draping effect like this. The last thing that we're gonna do in regards to her clothing, she has this little um, crucifix pinned um, on her shoulder. So I'm just going to do a really simple cross. I'm going to do a tall line that comes up and down, and I'm gonna do a straight across line like this for that cross beam. We're going to be putting in her little feet, so those are gonna go down at the bottom. And the overall shape is kind of like a um, sideways turned U. So over here, close to this bottom corner of her clothing, I'm going to put one U line that comes 
angled towards this bottom left corner of my paper. And that's creating the full um, shape of her foot. I'm going to do the same thing on this right side. I'm going to leave a little bit of space between this corner and where I start the foot. And I'm going to do a U shape turned towards the bottom right corner of my paper. Next, we're going to divide that shape into the toes, this little strap of the sandal, and this bottom edge. So I'll kind of show you how to do that. The first thing that we're going to do is we are going to be adding a curved line for the bottom part of those shoes. So I'm putting one kind of starting at the toe and it comes up towards the clothing. And I'm going to do another one over here. So I'm kind of following the same curve from the back towards the front like this. Then I'm going to be putting in these two parallel lines for the top part of the strap. So I'm going to put one here and one here. So it kind of creates like this box kind of shape. One on the top and one on the bottom. And we're going to put in some little lines for her little toes. You can't see all five because her feet are angled. But if you were to just add a couple of lines, maybe like two or three, however many you can fit, that creates the hint of a side view of her toes. So next we're going to be working on her habit. So the overall shape is kind of like a big upside down U or um, frown kind of line. So I'm going to start over here on this left shoulder and I'm going to start that line coming up. I'm going to kind of trace the top of the head and continue that line over towards the right shoulder like this. And we can see a little bit of this fabric here kind of coming down underneath her elbow, coming down her robe. So it's kind of ever so slightly curved. Think kind of like a parenthesis kind of shape. So where her elbow is, I'm going to continue that line down until I hit her clothes. For the top part of her habit above her forehead, we're going to be putting in another curved line. So we want to make sure that we're leaving a little bit of space up here at the top and you are going to draw a slightly curved line. Think kind of like a frown or a rainbow kind of line. And it's going to come across that oval shape for her head. So I have these lines here that um, I had drawn when I did my oval shape and I no longer need those. So I am going to erase those and we're going to finish up with her face and you can do any style face that you wish. I'm going to be doing a really simple face. So I'm going to start off with simple circles for the eyes. So kind of here um, near the middle of my drawing, I'm going to put two circles for Mother Teresa's eyes like this and in between her eyes and the bottom of her chin I'm going to be putting in a simple curved line kind of like if you were drawing a smile and that's creating the bottom part of her nose so underneath her eyes in between her eyes and the chin I'm doing that simple curved line we have one little line kind of next to her left eye that kind of comes up and down like this and that creates just the hint of the bridge of her nose. In between her nose and her chin we're going to be putting in a wider curved line for her smiling mouth. So I'm going to draw that smiling mouth underneath the nose like this and I can make any adjustments to my artwork that I need to as I work. We're going to be putting in these kind of parentheses shapes on each side of that smiling mouth. So it's just a slight curve, kind of like a parenthesis on each side, and that creates the edges of her mouth. And um, we're going to be putting in these little wrinkle lines next. I have two little lines. Um, so if I'm on the left side of her face, I'm going to put two lines going off towards 
the left. And if I'm on the right side, then I wanna add two lines that come off and towards the right. Last but not least, she has two eyebrows. So the eyebrows are slightly curved downwards. Hey friend, I just wanted to clarify something that might have been a little bit confusing. I forgot to show you how to draw this little line right here on her clothing. So it's just a slightly diagonal line that's placed in between her elbow and um, the side of her body. So if you <laughs> saw that and were a little bit confused, I apologize for the confusion. Everyone makes mistakes sometimes, I'm only human. So I also wanted to demonstrate how to do the signature blue that goes on um, the trim of her clothing and on her habit. So it's a big blue stripe with two smaller blue stripes on top of it. So I'm gonna de quickly demonstrate how to do that on the bottom right here. So I have a blue marker and I'm gonna start off by drawing a thick blue stripe like this at the bottom of her clothing, like so. And there are two smaller stripes of blue right above it with a little space of white in between. So I wanna leave a gap and using the point of my marker, I'm going to draw my first small blue line above like this. Then I'm gonna leave a gap of white and add that second stripe on top. So you end up having three stripes of blue, two small ones, and one big one. So I'm gonna do that again down here. I'm gonna do a big stripe of blue right on the edge. And then I'm going to draw two smaller lines on top. I would love to see how your drawings of Mother Teresa turned out. Feel free to tag me on social media. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Amy Heisey and I post new Catholic inspired art tutorials here on my channel every week. Another way that you can help support my channel is through my Buy Me A Coffee page and art supply wish list. I want to remind you that you are loved. God loves you very much and he loves your artwork very much. Thank you so much for following along and I'll see you in the next video.